the genesis of Enter the Dragon. In the early 1970s, Bruce Lee was already a martial arts icon, having gained fame through his roles in movies like The Big Boss and Fist of Fury. However, he was determined to make a film that would not only showcase his martial arts prowess, but also introduce Chinese martial arts to a global audience. The idea for Enter the Dragon was born. The screenplay, written by Michael Allen, centered around Lee's character, a martial artist named Lee, who was recruited by a British intelligence agency to infiltrate a criminal organization on a remote island. The film was set to be a fusion of martial arts action, espionage, and philosophy, a perfect representation of Bruce Lee's multifaceted talent, filming challenges, and triumphs. Filming Enter the Dragon was no easy feat it marked the first time a Hong Kong martial arts film had received substantial financial backing from a Hollywood studio. Warner Brothers Lee faced numerous challenges, including language barriers and cultural differences. However, he was determined to create a movie that would bridge the gap between Eastern and Western cinema. The film's director, Robert Klaus, worked closely with Bruce Lee to capture the essence of Chinese martial arts on screen. The choreography of the fight scenes was meticulous, blending Lee's own martial arts philosophy, Ji Kyun Du, with traditional Chinese martial arts styles. The result was a visual spectacle that left audiences in awe of Lee's speed, precision, and charisma. Despite the challenges, the filming process became a testament to Bruce Lee's dedication and vision for martial arts cinema. The cast and crew formed a tight-knit family, driven by the shared goal of creating a groundbreaking film. The cast of characters. The ensemble cast of Enter the Dragon played a crucial role in the film's success. Alongside Bruce Lee, the movie featured renowned martial artists and actors. Jim Kelly portrayed Williams, a skilled martial artist with a rebellious spirit. John Saxon played Roper, a gambling playboy who gets entangled in the criminal organization's web. Together, these characters formed a diverse and dynamic trio, each bringing their unique style and personality to the film. The chemistry between the actors was palpable on screen, adding depth to the narrative beyond the intense martial arts sequences. As the movie progressed, the characters faced moral dilemmas, intricate plot twists, and, of course, epic martial arts showdowns. The interplay between Bruce Lee's Lee, Jim Kelly's Williams, and John Saxon's Roper created a dynamic that resonated with audiences worldwide. The Island of Han, setting the stage. The fictional island of Han served as the backdrop for the high-stakes drama in Enter the Dragon. Populated by a criminal organization led by the enigmatic Han, portrayed by the sinister Shi Qian, the island became a labyrinth of danger and intrigue. As Lee, Williams, and Roper navigated through its treacherous terrain, the tension escalated, leading to the ultimate clash between good and evil. The set design and cinematography played a crucial role in capturing the essence of the island. From the opulent underground lair of Han to the lush outdoor landscapes where martial arts battles unfolded, the visuals added a layer of authenticity to the film. The island became a character in itself, contributing to the immersive experience for the audience. Bruce Lee's Philosophy in Action At the heart of Enter the Dragon was Bruce Lee's martial arts philosophy, a philosophy that transcended mere physical combat. Lee's character, reflective of his real-life beliefs, emphasized adaptability, fluidity, and the rejection of rigid traditional styles. The famous quote, Don't Think, Feel, encapsulated the essence of Lee's approach to martial arts and life. The film's narrative wasn't just about defeating the villain, it was a journey of self-discovery and the triumph of one's inner strength. You can call it the art of fighting without fighting. As Bruce Lee showcased his martial arts prowess on screen, he simultaneously conveyed a deeper message about personal empowerment and the universality of human experiences. The premiere, a global spectacle. As the filming concluded, anticipation for Enter the Dragon reached a fever pitch. The movie marked a significant moment in cinema history, blending Eastern and Western influences seamlessly. The premiere, held in Hong Kong on July 26, 1973, was a star-studded event attended by celebrities, martial artists, and fans from around the world. The reception was overwhelmingly positive. Audiences were captivated by the film's innovative fight choreography, compelling characters, and the charisma of Bruce Lee. Enter the Dragon had successfully achieved its mission, it had introduced Chinese martial arts to the global stage and solidified Bruce Lee's status as a cultural icon. Bruce Lee's Legacy and Impact 
Enter the Dragon catapulted Bruce Lee to international superstardom. The film's success transcended cultural boundaries, earning acclaim not only for its martial arts prowess, but also for its storytelling and character development. Bruce Lee's influence on the martial arts genre became unparalleled, and his legacy continues to shape the industry to this day. The movie's impact on Western audiences was particularly significant. It marked a turning point in Hollywood, opening the door for more diverse and inclusive representation. Bruce Lee's charisma and authenticity challenged stereotypes, paving the way for future generations of Asian actors and filmmakers. Tragedy Strikes, Bruce Lee's Untimely Death Amidst the triumph of Enter the Dragon, tragedy struck the martial arts world. On July 20, 1973, just six days before the film's international premiere, Bruce Lee was found dead in his Hong Kong apartment at the age of 32. The cause of death was officially listed as cerebral edema, but the circumstances surrounding his passing have been a subject of speculation and conspiracy theories over the years. The news of Bruce Lee's death sent shockwaves through the global community. Fans mourned the loss of a martial arts legend, and the film industry faced the challenge of moving forward without its charismatic trailblazer. The premature departure of Bruce Lee left a void that would be felt for decades. Posthumous Success and Cultural Phenomenon Despite his untimely death, Bruce Lee's impact continued to grow. Enter the Dragon was released posthumously, becoming a massive box office success. The film's popularity soared, solidifying Bruce Lee's status as a cultural phenomenon. His legacy extended beyond the martial arts community, influencing pop culture, fashion, and even philosophy. In the years that followed, Bruce Lee's family, particularly his daughter Shannon Lee, worked tirelessly to preserve and promote his legacy. Documentaries, biographies, and retrospectives celebrated his life and contributions to martial arts and cinema. Bruce Lee's image became synonymous with strength, discipline, and the pursuit of excellence. Let me think. Don't think. Feel.